Hi, I'm Lauren, and watch Marvel make me a hero. I'm the creative director for a book publisher who specializes in sci-fi fantasy books. I'm in charge of making sure that all the amazing stories that our authors come up with have great covers that tell you all about the book and get people excited about reading them. My dad always went to baseball card shows and I'm an only child so I don't have any brothers and he just brought me along to the baseball card shows and I immediately started beelining to the comics booths and he would buy me comics to trace and draw. And then when I was and got around to like high school age, I worked in a comic book store and I just fell head over heels for X-Men. The X-Men had so many more women in them than kind of any other books going around. There was always like the one girl in a group, but in X-Men you had, you had Storm and you had Rogue and you had Dazzler and you had Jubilee and you had young women and old women and women of all different uh, diversities and backgrounds. You know, I loved Jean Grey. I was just so drawn to her. I was always drawn to like the telepaths and the telekinetics. I always found that being able to know what other people thought really interesting or fascinating or useful, and you could just protect yourself. You can stop anyone from getting to you. So it kind of neutralizes everybody else's powers too. I really wanted my hero to look like me. I work out a lot, I box, and, and I'm very active, but it is more curvy than you would normally see. And I mean, I have green hair. I'm kind of like one step into superhero land already. And green is my favorite color. It's like green and black and silver and cool. I wanted to honor my X-Men love and, and history by saying it was a mutant and not like some cosmic ray or, you know, the embodiment of a living goddess or things like that. <laughs> So I would want some kind of weapon to help me, you know, a telescoping baton or something cool like that. You know, would, was out of the way most of the time, but you know, when the power damper hits, you know, you're prepared. You know, some kind of cool hair device. Again, I was thinking of like the Jean Grey years when she had the head framing kind of thing in the hair back. That's how I envision my character. I think I would get up in the morning and do some superhero physical training. Some superhero meditation is good. Like I said, if your powers are mental, you've got to keep control of your emotions and know how to handle that. So I think some meditation would be good. Hopefully it's not a planet eating day. <laughs> this can only happen so many times. <gasps> oh my goodness. It's so green. Oh, and I love the green jewel. It's so cool. And I have the little telescoping wand for self-defense and I love the body armor and no heels. It's amazing. I love the pose she's in. It's very like defensive and, you know, ready to protect her team or the bystanders that are around, but also ready to like leap into action. I love the cape. That means I can totally use the cape while I'm flying and look super badass. Clearly like my glowing jewel is gonna focus my mental powers and like take care of stuff in that area. And I love the goggles too. Cause if you're flying, you're gonna get stuff in your eyes. And you know, I didn't even mention that. And that's super cool. This is a superhero that can get some stuff done. Thank you, Marvel, for making me a hero.